Hi friends. We learn a number of times in the Gospels that Jesus went off by himself to pray. Mark 1.35, Mark 6.46, Luke 5.16, uh, Luke 6.12, Luke 11.1, 1, to name some. I'll list these in the video notes so that you can uh, review them yourself um, later. Fascinating to, to read these. And I love the disciples' uh, comments. We'll, we'll mention that in a minute. My wife Cindy and I were hiking with a good friend on Roan High Knobs just the other day. There weren't a lot of people while we were hiking. There were some. But I found myself thinking how beautiful the place is and how perfect a spot it would be to sit and spend some time praying all by yourself, alone, from the cares and concerns of the world. What I want to do is I'm going to share some of the video as we chat. It was really windy that day, so I've... Uh, Turn the sound down on the on uh, that video so that you don't hear too much of the the really strong wind. We drove about an hour to get to the hike. It's a great place, like I said, to come and pray, but it's not something you could do regularly because, well, we had to drive an hour to get there, which means driving an hour to get home, and then you have to hike to the top of the knob as well. Jesus didn't drive an hour to pray, apart from the fact that he didn't have a car, but Jesus had his favorite places to pray, like the olive grove. He intentionally found places to go off by himself to pray, but they were places that existed where he was. He didn't go away. He stepped aside to be alone. Would you read the passages I referenced and you'll find in the show notes and you'll notice that Jesus stepped aside to pray in lonely places close to where he and the disciples were staying. He'd go off to pray after they went to bed. He'd send them off in the boat and he'd stay and pray. He'd get up before everybody else did, and he'd go off to pray. And this caught the disciples off guard. They kind of wondered at times where he was because their schedule was busy. A lot of people were looking for them. A lot of people wanted them, and the disciples thought that they should pay attention to that. Jesus' goal in finding a place to pray was not in finding the most picturesque, the most beautiful place to step aside. But his goal was to find a place free from interruption and distraction. The olive grove overlooking Jerusalem was one of those perfect places. Jesus used this practice to spend focused time in prayer, but we also see Jesus doing this as a way to seek guidance from his father before large events or big decisions in his ministry. We learn that Jesus' first response was not action, but prayer. Jesus' activities, his action grew out of his prayer. They grow out of the fertile soil of prayer. As I read the Gospels, I realize how much of a priority it was for Jesus to find such places to pray. Jesus didn't step, a, step aside to pray when he had an opening in his schedule. This was a kingdom priority for him. Such prayer overrode anything else on the schedule. You'll see that reading the passages. The Son of God, whose work was more important than anyone else's in the history of ever, the Son of God stopped what he was doing to pray. 
without distraction and without noise and without interruption. He got out of bed early. He stayed up late. He found alternate means of getting somewhere so that he could pray in a focused manner. As I see Jesus, I must consider, will I frequently and intentionally make my way to a lonely place so that I can pray without interruption and distraction? This is not the only way we pray, but it's important to do. Growth in life and ministry is ours as we follow Jesus' example. <laughs> this is Scott Shade. Join me in stepping aside to pray. Until next time, blessings. <laughs>